In a separate session, we have talked about data search engines, which will harvest metadata from thousands of data archives and direct the user to where they will find the data. We've also talked about the registry of research data repositories, also known as re 3 data, which is the foremost index of data archives. In this session, we will talk about the actual data archives, which are also known as data repositories. The repository is where the data sets are stored, and you will find the actual data. Data repositories come in all sizes. In the one end, there are small institutional repositories, which will store in a few dozens of data sets, and in the other end, the major re international repositories, which will boast tens of thousands of data sets. There are both multidisciplinary and subject-specific repositories, and most of them are free to use and specialize in open research data. Many research institutions have their own data repositories. The same goes for many companies, but the data stored here is often not as easily accessible to members of the public. The researchers are often free to choose if they want to deposit their data in the institutional repository or somewhere else. Most institutional repositories only welcome research data from their own researchers. However, within certain disciplines, there are ins institutional repositories that welcome research data from scholars worldwide, independent of any institutional affiliation. Once the data has been shared in the data repository, anyone is free to access them. For those who lack access to institutional repositories, such as independent scholars, the independent research repositories constitute a good alternative. Zenodo, Figshare and Dryad are some of the most well-known independent repositories. The independent repositories allow anyone to deposit their data and thereby make it possible for independent scholars to comply with data sharing requirements. Zenodo is one of the major players among data repositories. It is an open access repository which was devo developed under the Open Air program and it is operated by the European Organization for Nuclear Research, CERN. Zenodo welcomes research data within all disciplines from researchers all over the world and does not have any requirements when it comes to the format, size, access restrictions or licenses. The repository provides access to research data as well as articles, conference objects and other objects associated more generally with the research. All submissions to Zenodo are assigned a DOI as persistent identifier, which facilitates data citation. The citation information is also passed on to DataCite and other ser data search engines, which makes the data easily findable. Zenodo collaborates with another major data repository, Dryad. Dryad is an another open access repository which shares a lot of features with Zenodo. In terms of subject specialization, Dryad focuses more on scientific data and medical sciences and is particularly strong when it comes to number of specific subjects. All data deposited in Dryad is associated with a published article and available under a Creative Commons Zero license, which makes the data public domain. Dryad works towards not only the researchers themselves, but also encourages institutions, journals, learned societies and publishers to share their data. Figshare is an online open access repository. It shares features with both Zenodo and Dryad and operates with a Creative Commons licenses. All datasets are available under a Creative Commons Zero license and Figshare welcomes all kinds of different research outputs, regardless of file format. Figshare is backed by a long line of institutions and research associations, but the repository can be used by researchers regardless of institutional affiliation. Another example of a major play in the field of data repositories is the Harvard Dataverse, which is open to all kinds of research data from scholars from all over the world, both within and outside the Harvard community. Dataverse is an open source software installation which is used by research repositories all over the world. All the dataverses share the same interface and system, but each individual dataverse installation may have a specific focus. There are national dataverses, for example, the dataverse for Netherlands or the dataverse for Norway, as well as dataverses for specific institutions or even for specific departments within these institutions. Each of these dataverses may in turn host dataverses in the on their own for a specific research group and so forth. All of these data repositories are compatible with the identification s system ORCID. ORCID is an alphanumeric code that is unique for every academic author and research contributor. 
In some cases, researchers are required to register with ORCID in order to submit data to a repository.